Hi everyone. Welcome to Create Yogi channel. In this Science of Yoga video, I'm going to tell you how yoga, breathing exercises and meditation help you at workplace using research evidence. According to American Psychological Association, 65% of the employees report of stress at workplace. Stress at workplace not only affects our performance, it extends into disturbed relationships, altered sleep patterns, and several illnesses. You know what happens when we are stressed? Our sympathetic nervous system gets overactivated and pumps stress hormones such as adrenaline and cortisol into blood. Yoga and meditation work wonders by regulating the sympathetic nervous system, thereby reducing the secretion of stress hormones and eventually calming us down. During moments of stress, we often react without even realizing what we are saying or doing. How many times have you sent an email without an attachment when you meant to attach one? Chronic stress is not only detrimental to us, also to others we care for. Can you imagine a situation when a physician under chronic stress prescribes the wrong medication? Regular practice of yoga and meditation alters the structure of our brain so that there is less stress, anxiety and non-reactivity to stress. Amygdala is a part of our brain that is related to fear, stress and anxiety. As per neuroscientists, the size of amygdala reduces with regular practice of yoga and meditation. After an eight week of yoga and meditation practice in Ohio, hospital staff reported of higher work engagement and resilience. Practice of yoga and meditation release endorphins or feel-good hormones that help with relaxation. When we are relaxed, we have clarity of thought. Yoga also teaches us to be in the present moment. And when we are in the present moment, we are more attentive. So next time, when you are stuck with the writer's block, try some yoga. It may help you to get back in the zone. As per the global disease burden estimates, lower back pain is the most common cause of disability worldwide. We often don't realize that a great majority of our lower back pain is due to incorrect posture. Yoga helps us to correct the posture. It strengthens our bones, muscles and ligaments. It also improves our flexibility. No wonder why workers practicing regular yoga at workplace have reported substantial relief from back pain in the UK. The philosophy of yoga is built around eight principles, also known as the eight limbs of yoga. They teach compassion, empathy, belongingness and sharing. If you see carefully, these are also the basic ingredients of teamwork. Yoga literally means union. It's not only the union of body, mind, breath and spirit of the individual. It also means feeling a sense of connection with others around us. When we feel a connection with others, where is the place for aggression or competition? For instance, workers who practiced yoga regularly for 10 weeks at workplace have shown lower levels of aggression and counterproductive work activities. So these were the five ways yoga and meditation can help you at workplace. Do you have any experience of practicing yoga or meditation at workplace? Please share in the comments. If you want to practice yoga, meditation or breathing exercises at workplace, then please subscribe to Create Yogi channel. Thank you so much for watching Create Yogi. Until we meet next, give love, live life, do yoga.